Welcome back to episode 6 of Top 3 Tracks. Today we're gonna check out a track made by DJ D. DJ Deal. David Deal, I think. Uh, it's called MX777. So MX777. And it's an OG track. It's a really, really old track, but it's one of the best tracks in game. It has so many big jumps, it's so much fun. So, as you can probably tell, it's quite old, but it's definitely fun to this day to just have fun on. You can just float around as you wish, pretty much. And there's a few cool line, -ups there, line options here and there as well, like there you can quad over, or you can double double and stuff. So definitely track with high standards. So this was released I couldn't find the original post and that might be because it could potentially win a pure MXS post and pure MXS doesn't exist anymore. But I know in 2010 there was a new version of this release with some updated something. So um, pre 2010 I would say and you can probably tell that as well by the way it looks. But David Deal, definitely one of the best creators for this game. He's made other tracks such as MX149, that was really, really popular. Uh, and Fat Bottom Booters, I would say. He's made a ton of more than that, I'm sure. I just can't think of them right now. But this is sort of a forgotten track. I guess in some ways you could see this as the... OG, big whippish side of the track. That's a really really nice flow to it and once you dial the layout of it you can just go laps and laps and laps and just throw sick whips and stuff. The start here is probably my favorite thing of the entire map. Since you can just go over and... Well, can do some nice hand whips over there. It's it's not always going to be successful. It depends on how you slide out. But you can slide out so you get the most insane hand whips. Like you slide out by sort of accident and then you can get them back. And that's insane. But big jumps, lots of fun, and I think I have to re-upload this track to make sure you get the version that I has. So stay tuned for this one because it's an amazing track. I mean, I think you can probably see why from these whips. Without any effort at all, you can just throw them as big as you want. Let's see here. And here's the quad I was talking about earlier. So definitely a great track to just have some fun on. So let's move on to the next one. Track number two is going to be Honda Test Track and this is the bike it was released with, so you could download both the bike and the track, and this bike when it came out, it was the shit. It was the best bike by far in the game, and I know people really appreciated this track as well, and to be completely honest, I don't think I've played this track since this bike came out in 2010 or 2011. I know I played it a few times when it came out to try to figure it out, but my skills were fairly mediocre to be nice to myself. So I could never really figure this out. I could almost do some JLV Supercross, but anything that wasn't JLV Supercross I basically couldn't ride. Somewhat true to this day though. So this track was basically a no-go for me. But as you can see, it's a nice, small and flowy track if you can just find the flow. Not super much rail, 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 go hard, but just rather be nice and find a nice flow to it. But again, you should definitely download this bike as well. It's well to say a piece of MX Sim history, this Honda right here. It might have been made by Wilson. Not entirely sure, might be completely wrong. But it's definitely one of the best models in the game. 
and I can say for myself that I've spent many hours on this bike with the uh, Rockstar skin because I used to be a big fan of Rockstar and Rockstar in any way was cool, I thought. So, uh, definitely has some great memories and video clips with this on the right here. Unfortunately, I'm not with this track because uh, again, I couldn't really play the track, it was too difficult for me. But um, definitely worth to try out this track if you can find a download for it. Or, um, I mean, I'm gonna put it in the description so it's just go there and download. Still a bit tight for me. Not helping that I'm on a national setup as well. But nevertheless, I should definitely go practice more Supergirls. Yes, I'm above below average on it. Well, I'm, I don't want to crash more, so let's get to move on to the next track here. RBR Factory Raceway is going to be the last track for this episode. This is another of those tracks that's super old and I haven't played in forever. So I might just crash all over the place, but... So this was probably released somewhere 2010 or earlier than that. Also another track I've played really much, really much a lot of. So it has, it's quite big, quite nice, wide, open. So it was pretty forgiving for me as a beginner to ride. And if you want to learn to whip, there's some decent jumps here as well. I think this is not the one I was thinking about. I think I was thinking about the tabletop coming up, that was a big double. I forgot that. And unfortunately I couldn't find the post for it, so I'm not sure who made the track originally. But the track is great nevertheless. So this is the tabletop I was thinking about. Well, my memories of that tabletop is definitely when I was a, a big, big tabletop and you could throw huge whips. I think not playing these tracks in so long, I've sort of forgotten how they actually are. I was stack up with today's tracks. Also, back in the day when I used to play this, 450s wasn't a thing, so... Since 450s came out, everything has basically been... Nothing is big anymore. So if you have to rail for something back in the day, bikes have, have both got a more powerful and 450s has come around, so... And as well as the average user skill has gone up, so... Big jumps in the past aren't really a thing anymore. It's like bigger, better, or worse. Let's see. Oh, down into the valley, up to the right, and almost. In retrospect, I think putting at least one lap on this track before I made the video would have been a good thing, but here we are. This lap is soon done, I promise. Then I'm gonna try to go for an actual lap here. and then back on the start train. So it's a nice and big forgiving track for beginners basically and the traction isn't the most trash there is. I think it's actually quite decent. That might just be me as well. Top. So the next one we're gonna come to is the big double. Right. Yep, not this one, but sell it. <laughs> Again, back in the day I had way more trouble getting over that because I wasn't getting anywhere near as much speed with the 250. But I would say the track still stacks up, I mean, visually it's not amazing. Jumps are still pretty flowy. Uh, the style of the track is a bit... ...in the past. 
And I keep crashing just like it would have done eight years ago when I probably played this track. But overall, decent track and I think it's a very beginner friendly track to sort of learn some sort of flow and timing of the jumps without having to worry about falling off too much because the jumps are pretty nice, the bumps are nice, some nice berms. So definitely a track I would recommend to beginners. There's a few bumps here and there that are quite hard to see. But except for those it's, it's really not that much. And can't believe I have so much trouble with a track I've ridden so much. Probably spent a good five to ten hours on this track alone. And that's the lower end of my guess. Could have been 15, 20 hours as well, so not being able to ride good here sort of makes me sad. But that's two laps at RBR Factory Raceway. I hope you enjoyed this sort of retro old episode with three older tracks. That's probably amongst the oldest there's that's gonna be featured around here. So, I'll see when the next episode gets up. I don't have too much time or too much internet. Internet speed so slow as I've mentioned in the past. Even if I make a video, it's gonna take quite a few up hours to upload. So, I'm unfortunately not too up motivated to make videos anymore. But I hope to keep making them as I do enjoy to make them. But with that said, I am go off to the side here and I'm also gonna leave links should be down in the description if not you should remind me so I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you in the next one